Hello and welcome to Masala Trails with me Smita Dev on Get Curry. In the bylines of Old Nagpur, there is a 50-year-old restaurant which serves the city's signature cuisine that is the Saoji food. This Saoji community basically was into handloom weaving, but as the industry died, they had to find other means to survive. And so they did what they were second best at, that was cooking. So today, let's learn the Saoji mutton. So I'm going to heat some oil in a pan and just fry the onions golden. And while our onions are getting sauteed, we'll also saute our garam masala. I'm going to pour one tablespoon of oil in another pan and then I'm going to add coriander seeds, bay leaves, some cumin seeds, the black cumin seeds, also called shahajira, ani seeds, black cardamom, green cardamoms, cinnamon, cloves, black pepper, mace, and stone flour. Stone flour is also known as dagar pool. It is easily available at a grocer's shop. You can pick it up from them. And now you just saute it till the garam masalas leave their aroma. I'm going to add some dry red chilies, poppy seeds, which is also known as khas khas, and some black mustard seeds. And now just saute this gently on a very low flame. Our garam masalas are releasing a beautiful aroma. Now we'll add some dry coconut that is grated and roast this along with the garam masalas. Our spices are roasted well. Let's just put them in a grinder. We're going to make a nice paste of this along with the onions that we have sauteed. First let us cool all this and then we'll make a nice paste. Our onions are also ready. While this is cooling, let's fry our mutton. For that, I'm going to take some oil in a pressure cooker. Three to four tablespoons have taken. Let the oil heat up. The oil is nice and hot. I'm going to just saute my mutton in this. Saute this mutton till it becomes slightly brown. I've taken about half a kg of mutton. So while this is going to be nice and brown, I'm going to add two tablespoons of sorghum flour or jwari ka atta to this masala of ours and grind it to a nice fine paste. Add some water to this. Our garam masala paste is ready. Now to this meat, I'm going to add ginger and garlic paste. And saute it till the raw aroma of the ginger and garlic goes off. To this, I'm going to add our masala that we have ground to a fine paste. some salt and now mix this well to this I'm going to add a liter of water and cover it I'm going to give it three whistles and then I'm going to put it on a low flame for about 10 minutes and then our mutton is ready Let's check if the meat is cooked. Our meat is done and so is our sauji mutton. 
So this Saudi mutton can be relished with bhakri, which is a Maharashtrian version of the roti. It can be had also with rice, along with some nice onion salad. Do try this recipe at home and don't forget to subscribe to Get Curry.